we start with daily chart. You want to see how we can look for trade. As we can see still, we are within this correction. And what we have been looking for, we have been looking for the breakout of this correction. All right. As we can see, almost the price broke this correction. And But if we don't consider both the previous shadow, all right. And mostly, as we know, most of the chart, they have a similar movement. And the only thing is we're looking, first things, we're looking at the divergent and the second things we want to see whether we can get the reversal or not okay it doesn't mean what i want to highlight here if we don't see the confirmation for the reversal yet okay and because of the most of the chart they have a similar movement and the only thing is we're looking for the reversal that's mean we try to trade it if we get any trace at all we take it for buying but we try to manage it if it's not moving in our direction this is the only things i need to i can highlight here as I mentioned, we don't see the di reversal yet. And even based on forward chart, we see the divergence, but the second indicators, we doesn't show us. And right now, what I'm looking for, if I'm looking for trade, what I prefer to get the correction here. If I get the correction, any trade setup for buy, I will take it. This is what I'm looking for. Even if we refer to our analysis, since the price was within this move, we mentioned about the reversal, but we mentioned we had the levers which we need to break out the price it couldn't break and drop. And right now we're looking for the this one. We want to see whether we can look for reversal or not. And if I move to one hour chart, we don't have really good trades at top. And right now we can expect we're looking for this. If we get any trades at top from here, we will take it. But we should know how we can look for trade either as a sharp move flag by having three above the top. In that case, what we want, we want to see the continuation as a sharp move. That means once the price break and continue with the price tag, we see it's not moving. We are not going to keep the trade more than one or maximum two hours. Or we get the deeper correction at least as a flat. In that case, we trade based on lower time frame. That's mean we get the trade setup in within the correction. And even if we get any trade setup based on the deeper correction, we are not going to keep the trade more between more than four hours. We bit somewhere between two to four hours. Because right now, as I mentioned, we don't see the reversal based on uh, for the crypto market yet. And we can expect the price to consolidate before we get the reversal. But any trade setup for buy, we'll take the trade. And right now, if we want to look for trade, even this one tend to be similar to what we have here. The only way is to put our entry above the top. And we should know that simply the price can tag and drop. How risky is that? Unless we get the confirmation and the correction based on forward chart. That's mean we price consol consolidate here for the longer time. It can give us better confirmation. All right. Anyway. We don't have really good trade setup, and the only way is if this one turn to a flag or correction similar to what we have here, put a warning tree above the top, then it depends on the traders. But what we're looking for for the crypto market, most of the charts they have at first, they have a similar movement and we're trying to get the reversal. That's why we try to trade it, okay? We are not going to look for trade. I mean, even if you're buying, we are not going to keep the trade. If it's not moving in our direction, we need to know about this. Because as I mentioned, we don't see the reversal point yet. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.